What's that? Well, most of you didn't look. I was looking for the people that did look, or most everyone, because uh, originality is something that we don't come across nowadays as much as we used to. People were really into being themselves at one point in time. My quote uh, was, she has as much originality as a Xerox machine. And Xerox machines, they copy things. They're the same thing over and over. You don't get anything out of it. And what I look for nowadays is the person wearing that random red scarf, for instance, something that really like pulls something out of the crowd. You want some, it, it's, it's attractive to find something that's new, appealing to yourself. And nowadays people are so like stuck into like stars, for instance, they have their fame, their fortune, everybody wants to be like them. They look to be like the Brad Pitt, the Angelina Jolie for girls. And I think nowadays you just can't find like people wanting to be themselves. And so I, I found out like just the three main points I'd like to say about originality is that people are really looking to be like stars nowadays. A second is that uh, popularity is a big one. People want to be in that group, so they act that way. And uh, so those two are the main ones. And I think that like if you want to be like somebody, you shouldn't you should go maybe after their morals or like what they have to offer. Jesus, I want to be like Jesus, for instance. That'd be great. Have the hair almost down. But um, uh, Jesus, he's great, you know. And if you could uh, act off his morals rather than, uh, you know, you don't have to wear the sandals. You don't have to wear the awkward robe, the towel. You could uh, just have to be yourself in an in instance. Like take what your uh, parents taught you. Be just your individual self. It, it looks good. And uh, popularity within your friends and uh, groups is a big one because, like, you go off with, like, your friend got those shoes, those boots. Oh, I've got to get those boots. They're great. And, uh, like, in that, uh, your friend, like, has, like, just all these great ideas. You shouldn't, like, take all of them. You should, like, come up with your own ideas. Um, not saying do, like, the drugs or anything. If they, like, do those, you shouldn't follow their aspects either like learn uh, to do like great things and I think if you do these great things you'll uh, get these great ideas in life like I feel that uh, hanging out with all my friends I get to grasp what they say and then come up with something new and really I get to learn and uh, so do they so she has as much originality as a Xerox machine don't copy yourselves don't uh, make just the same thing over and over again I really like the red scarf. I wear something. Mm -hmm. new. All right, Ian, uh, the attention device is okay. The tie in to the topic was a little strange, but the point was very clear and uh, you did kind of start your speech before you set it up, and I think you realized that when you were getting through that first point. Oh, let me go back and talk about what it was I was going to talk about. Uh, your illustrations are okay. Um, I think you had a little bit of fun with the uh, Jesus comparison, for instance. And I think if you had it a little bit more planned, you wouldn't have had to keep going back to it as much as you did. It was funny a couple times, a third time, eh, you know, so it, it just... Uh, <laughs> 
pushes it a little further than it needs to be. Uh, your voice is low, but it's low key, but you're pretty easy to hear. Uh, there's a tendency sometimes to drop your voice at, while you're talking about your ideas. I thought the pacing was fine. You've got some indicators while you're speaking, but they seem kind of repetitive. You do this thing where you're kind of, uh, I don't want to say pounding your hand, but you're, you, you are you know, making a point over and over and over again. And so it seems a little redundant. Uh, your facial expressions are okay. I did think that you looked around quite a bit trying to engage the audience. Sometimes maybe you're a little up over them, but for the most part that was not obvious. You do turn away and walk to the side. I, you've got notes or something over there. I sometimes refer to it as refrigerator disease. You know, the, the tendency to keep looking at something and hoping something will appear there, you know, uh, you know, and I think that's what with the notes. If you just kept those two or three main ideas in your head and remember, here's the point I'm trying to make here, here's the example, and start talking about the example instead of thinking, now I've got to go over there and see what's next, I, I think it would come across a little bit more smoothly. At the end of the speech, it's not really a summary, but you did have an exit point and it came back to the idea you were trying to get across. So thank you. <laughs>